For years, men dominated the world of professional chefs, but times are changing and some women in and around Cincinnati are leading the charge. Cincinnati Magazine writer Kaylee Payton profiled 17 women chefs here in our town, and she is here this morning with one of our friends who was also profiled in the article, uh, Arnold's executive chef, Kayla Robinson. Good to see you both. Good morning. Thank you Kaylee, let me start with you. Sure. Um, where did this idea come from to, to profile women chefs in Cincinnati? So we were putting together our March issue um, which was it's just it's all about um, the top restaurants in Cincinnati right, right now um, and I just thought this was a great time to spotlight some of the female leadership in the restaurant world right now um, so I really just wanted to to highlight that were you surprised by how many women leaders there are in Cincinnati not really yeah because <laughs> I know that I've just been seeing it so much right and I keep seeing these same women who just keep coming up and that's great um, they're so supportive of one another yeah and that was something I also wanted to touch upon now before we talk about your your bit in the article Kayla what do you what are you making here this looks so, fantastic thank you so this is one of our top selling entrees at Arnold so we're doing a bok choy we're trying to char get some nice color on there a salmon we have a pureed cauliflower horse, horseradish puree. Yeah. And then we top it with our sesame ginger sauce. Super healthy. It's very healthy. Yeah. And it's absolutely delicious. But very fragrant and delicious, <laughs> too. So um, I read your part of the article, and it said that you started out in restaurants when you were like 14 years yes. old. But not in the back. Tell no. me a little bit about that. So um, I started off as um, a car coffee pourer, so okay. like front of house. And yeah. I wanted to be in the back of house. And my boss was like, you know, girls don't work in the back of house. And I begged to differ, you know, I really want to be a part of it. So we made a deal. If you can bust tables and wash dishes, you'll be in the back. So a year later, I did my dues and I was in the back of the house and I've been partying back there ever since. How <laughs> important do you think it is for women in the restaurant industry to like bring up others behind them? Because I mean, you got started really young. I did. I think it's very important. I think it's one of those, um, you know, we're a minority in this industry mm -hmm. and I think it's important to help each other out, um, support one another. And it's really great. Cincinnati's a community that where men, women, it doesn't matter. We're chefs. At the right. end of the day, that's exactly who we are. We all have the same job, the same responsibilities, the same passion. And Kaylee, one of the things that I got out of the article too was a lot of the men who are the chefs and the leaders mm -hmm. in the restaurant industry here, they're interested in bringing women up, aren't they? Absolutely, and that was something that I wasn't necessarily surprised to hear, but I was very happy to hear yeah. that many of these chefs credited the men um, along their journey for supporting them along the way. Um, so yeah, I think that's something that's very important to both genders. Yeah, because you hear in a lot of industries about um, you know women maybe being treated inappropriately or things like that, but there are a lot of partnerships between men and women. Absolutely. In this town that have helped the women to be successful. Yeah. Where do you think it goes from here? I think that you're gonna see a lot more women in leadership and I think it's just gonna keep progressing from here. I really yeah. do. Kayla, who do you really look up to? Oh wow, um, definitely my boss, Rhonda. You know, she's owned um, Arnold's for 20 years. Mm -hmm. So she is one of the old schools, you know, who've helped pave the way for us, for people like me, women like yeah. me now. Um, Susie and Jennifer and a lot of the women that she, you know, featured Profiled in this. in the article, it, yeah. Absolutely. Susie um, DeYoung you're yeah, talking about, Renee yeah. Renee Shuler, you know, like those are all women who, when I was starting out, those were who I was looking mm -hmm. up to. So and what would amazing. you say to younger women who are thinking about a career? Because I, th I think women look at it and it kind of seems daunting. Like you work nights and weekends and the hours can be long, but what would you say to younger women? You know, this is a job that you do because you love it. Mm -hmm. It's a passion and it's a, it's a community, it's a family. And I think it's something that you no, don't necessarily find that type of family elsewhere. Yeah. So well, let's look at this as we head to a break. I think if you love it, you go do it. You go do yes. it. And you'll find the people that will support you along the way. Kaylee, thanks for the great article. Thank Kaylee, you. we always love Thank having you, you here. Go see her at Arnold's and we'll be right back.